getting ready to show you my method of air layering. Air layering is a way to take an existing plant such as a grape, fig tree, blueberries, raspberries, uh, they're just about any kind of a berry will use this method. Some fruits will use this method. Anyways, the way that I do air layering is I find new growth. So this is this year's growth right here. Here's another one right here. This would make a good specimen. This in here would make a good specimen. Basically, you're looking for something that's got a few leaves. It's fairly young. It's still green in color. Um, you can use older wood, but I'm going to use this new growth. But you want to find however many of these you can do. You can do a bunch of these on this one. I've, I'm getting ready to set up two that I'll show you, but I could literally do one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine you know there's ten there's like ten different places on this grapevine that i could do air layering in order to do air layering the simplest method i have found is to just use like a 17 ounce water bottle you're going to need either rubber band zip ties or wire to hold the bottle up and you're going to need something to dig some dirt with now what I do is, I do this a little different than most people I think. I take the lids off and then I take scissors and I cut the bottom out of it. So that when I put it on the vine, it's going to go this way. So the bottom will be where the lid's at and the top will be here. Then when it's air layered and I go to transplant it, I basically just take a razor blade and I cut off this end here in order to get it out without damaging the roots. That beats turning it upside down, trying to shake it out because this here is actually our top with the bigger opening. So the way that this works is, I'm gonna try to set this camera up. I don't really have a lot of options out here, but let me get that set up, I'll bring you right back. All right, hopefully you can see that. But the way that this works is, I'm gonna take this limb right here as an example this here is our lid end. There's our lid end. This is the branch I'm gonna use. This needs to be a wider. Take two. So the way that this works is, I'm gonna take the lid end, I'm gonna put it over this branch. Just go to the end of it where it's at. Just kind of feed it through there, like so. You want to go down until you have at least a couple of the leaves inside of here. Now I'm actually going to take and pinch this one off because this is going to be the one that I'm going to set it up as. So now we got that in there like that. Then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to figure out a way to secure this to an existing limb or something like that. That's where your rubber band, your wire tie, that sort of thing comes in handy. Then we're gonna take it and fill it with dirt that's moist and that's pretty much it. Let me get all this stuff done. I'll bring you right back. All right, so here's our final setup. I've got the branch coming in from the bottom going into the, where the lid's at for the water bottle. I come up, you can kind of see the end of the branch right there. It doesn't matter that it broke off. 
Then I've got a rubber band securing it to a nearby branch. So you basically keep this water moist, come out and check it, make sure it don't dry out. I actually use the rubber band to kind of tighten up on the end of it here to kind of pull this in to help seal it, to hold the moisture in. And in a couple of weeks, you will have roots that form. So then the next thing you do, once you get the roots that form, you come out with a pair of scissors and you clip it off right there. And then you just plant it like a normal plant that you've bought from like a garden center or someplace like that. It's literally that simple to do. And I'll give you an update a little later on, but this is what we got right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish these other ones I'm doing. And here is the second one I did. I didn't actually break the end off of this one, which won't matter, but anyway, so I basically just take and I wrap the rubber band around something and kind of loop it over on itself. Then I place it around the bottle, and you can kind of see how I've got the end of it here. But, uh, I'm going to do a couple more of these. I plan to get probably about four or five off of this plant this year. I try not to be too heavy on it because I also want it to produce. But one thing I can tell you is this unusual weather this year, I do not see near as many sprouts on this. This thing is normally loaded with thousands. And this year is not looking so good. I'm seeing maybe 500 or so. I don't know why we never got a late frost, but this early warm spell we got really seems to have affected this grapevine in a negative way. So I figure now is a good year to take care of it. If the production is going to be down, I'm going to make more from it. Anyways, thanks for watching.